Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Just over eight months ago now, Keith Downey, he stood outside St James's Park on top of that car park and he announced the cast night to take out to the world. Gone were the days of that previous owner who neglected this football team. Mediocre crap season after season after season. No signs we were making. Last season, Joe Willick, he was our only sign in the entire summer window. And now, I can just sit here and just know that this club is on the up. But anyway, Nick Pope. This is what this video is about today, opinions, what do people think about Nick Pope coming to this football club, Newcastle United fans, what does everyone think about this one? Now, no matter what, uh, whether he's going to be number one choice next season or he's going to be second fill to Dubrag, I think every single fan has said that Nick Pope for £10 million is a really good buy and I also agree with that one, I think it's a pro. But yeah, if you are new to the channel guys, make sure to get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well. And finally, let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Nick Pope as a goalkeeper. I think it's been quite conflicted in who's going to start next season. Would the Bragger start or will Nick Pope start? So let's go ask a bunch of Newcastle fans today for their opinions. Hi, my name's Jaden. Um, I've tried to get to every single home game there last season, including the women's match. Um, I really enjoyed and that's when the last time I was on Adam's channel. Nick Pope, them £10 million from Burnley, what are your thoughts on that one? Um, I'm quite happy with it to be honest, Con uh, considering how we work Dean Henderson at first, which he wouldn't have been a bad signing, but I reckon we've got a bargain with um, Nick Pope, especially in um, the situation Burnley are in now, and with uh, Nick Pope not being able to get called up in the England squad in the Championship, which is a bit rough for him, but hopefully he can get called up. I mean, the current goalkeeper situation, so we saw Freddie Woodman go out the door straight away after the news first came out. Carl Dollar, we're not too sure what's going to happen to him in the minute, but the belief is that he will also go. To Bragger, Nick Pope, who would you say is going to be the number one? Personally, De Bravka will always be the number one, but I think we need to switch things up a bit. Um, in the future of Newcastle, we're going to be big, so I think we need to be... We can't be making mistakes, and in my opinion, Dubravka makes quite a lot of mistakes. Hopefully, uh, Nick Pope will bring more maybe mentality to the team and uh, raise the spirit a bit next season. All right, fair enough. Appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Hello, I'm Andrew, Newcastle fan. Obviously, uh, just started up Mark Piece that we're filling uh, our first podcast for a little bit later. Uh, it'll hopefully come out some part next week. We'll be asking Adam all the burning questions that you have for him as well as Newcastle Twitter, all the in the nose. It's all been a bit of a funny time for Newcastle at the minute, so looking forward to getting into a good discussion with that. I appreciate that. I will put down the actual link to the joint channel in the description. By the way, though, Nick Pope, £10 million from Burnley. What are your thoughts on it? Really good signing. Obviously, he's been in England international. It's always great to have players that have the internationals experience around your squad, uh, especially if it's going to be balanced out as well. Obviously, Woodman's gone out. I'm not too sure what the fee is. And Darlow supposedly going as well. So to replace two keepers for one really good one is a, a good deal all round. And for the dynamics of the team as well, Martin De Bruyne, as we know, all know, is our current number one, has been for quite a few years. How do you think Nick Pope's going to change that round? Do you think he's going to start with the Bruyne or do you think it's going to be a great level of competition? I think it, with how things happened in January when we brought Bruno in, that it seems Eddie likes to bleed players into the team rather than chuck them in straight into the deep. Um, well, I mean, Trippier was in there, but I think Dubravka earned his number one spot. I think he'll probably stay there um, until... Nick Pope shows that he should predominantly be our, our number one. Alright, I appreciate Andrew. Cheers. No problem. Right, uh, hi guys, my name's Owen. Uh, I've been a season ticket holder for about three years now. Been every single home game. Been to a couple of away games. Uh, yeah. Nick Pope from Burnley just got relegated because of us and we're bringing in now an England goalkeeper. What are your thoughts about that one? Happy about that really because if you see with Dean Henderson, he's went to... Uh, where did he go to? Not them first. Yeah. So, quite happy with bringing him in. Especially with Dan Ashworth as well. He's Since he's been, uh, came in, it's been alright. Because £10 million pounds for like an England and national, I think it's alright. And again, with Debrecca and Nick Pope, how do you think that's going to play out in Newcastle? No, I think it'll be good because uh, Debrecca has more of a challenge to see if he's actually fits into the squad. So, compared to like Carl Darlow, he didn't really have a challenge with now with Nick Pope, he's got more of a challenge. Yeah, and as you can see, we've got your shirt behind you. I know you like collecting your signed shirts. You actually gave us one of the Hopkins as well, so thank you so much. But I mean, what Newcastle players have you not got on that shirt? Current ones from the season say Bruno, Maxi, and Richie. 
So you've got everyone else on there. Yeah. It's a candy collection, man. you got loads of them in the house as well. So nice. fair play is in building the football collection up. Yeah. But anyway, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Uh, hello, my name's Liam. I am, I'm obviously a, a Newcastle fan. I've not managed to go to many games, but I did manage to go to one last season, and it was the Wolves game where we won 1-0 at St James's Park. Fantastic atmosphere. Um, but hopefully I can go to a few more next season. Well, Nick Pope, he's in the middle of our goal now. What are your thoughts about Nick Pope coming to Newcastle for £10 million? Um, yeah, I think good signing. You, you think he's an England international, England's number one. And... Um, for, you know, for ten million pounds, he's he's an international player. He's competition to Dubravka as well. I think that's the main thing. So it's it's definitely a good signing, and you know, I, I never really thought that would add a massive goalkeeping problem. But you know, just with with Pope coming in, it sort of definitely solidifies my opinion there. Uh, but it is good competition for Dubravka, most importantly. And finally, do you think Dubravka is going to start next season at number one, or do you think Nick Pope's going to find his way in there? We'll just have to see. I, I'm really not too sure at the moment. You know, Nick Pope is it, all but confirmed, but he's not he's not over the line yet. So we'll just have to see what happens. But um, I think maybe look at the at the two preseason games at St James's Park in in the end of July, and I think we'll get a better example of what the starting eleven will look like at the start of the season. No way, Liam. Cheers. Hello, my name's Brad, and I've been at every single home game this season. Nick Pope them from Burnley for £10 million. Pounds. What are your thoughts on that one? Yeah, really good signing, you know what I mean? Like, he's an England national, like a bargain deal, you know what I mean? £10 million. Pound. All right, £10 million it is, yeah. But to Bradga and Nick Pope, now we've got two, in my opinion, number ones at the football club. Who do you think is going to start with who? Like, it is a tricky one because like, um, Dubravka is an, um, a Slovakian international and um, Nick Pope's an England national, so it will be like a battle between all of them two to get into the first team position. But I do think that Dubravka will keep his place in the squad. Oh, fair enough. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right. Yeah, cheers to the five Newcastle fans that come on to the channel today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section, guys. In my opinion, uh, out of which goalkeeper is going to start next season, I think it'd be a bit similar to Bruno. So we'll begin off with it's the bad guy's place to lose. And whenever he, he makes a mistake or he has a poor game, that's when I think the switch is going to get made. I always feel like the pressure is going to be on the bad guy's back just for him to perform week in, week out. That's just my personal opinion, anyway. Maybe he puts Nick Pope and go at the start of the season. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I think the fact that we've got two number ones, in my opinion, is not a bad problem at all. It's really good. The competition there is going to be great for the breaker. It really does just give it a bit more punch to the goalkeeper position. I always feel like Woodman and Dodd were just a level down for the breaker. And I think he knows that, which is why in some match days he might not perform as well as he could potentially do. So I think that is an all goalkeeper and they're constantly breathing down his neck. I think it's a really good competition for Newcastle. Smart sign by Eddie Howe. Dan Ashford, I think, is written all over this one, the way the deal has been done. Superb, £10 million, pounds, no shenanigans, in and out just like that. I think it's excellent, especially as well for a current England national. You can't say no to it. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Yes, I'll see you on the next one.